SVGs and UDFs is a match made in heaven because SVG code is often quite long, right? And now you can just create a UDF library with all different kinds of well, SVG templates that you can then reuse, you, your colleagues throughout all of your reports. Now, let me show you how that would work. Now, so we go back again to the free review. Over here, let me just put in the ready code. Now you see this one is a little bit longer, also has many different types of inputs. Let, let me walk you through it. So just like before, uh, we have some scalar values uh, like the SVG width, SVG height that we are passing in as values. However, the metric expression, so let's say uh, total sales, well, needs to be evaluated as an expression. Uh, if you have a measure that uses the calculate function or something like that, well, it needs to be expression, all right? If we go a little bit further down, here we have a reference to the day table. Well, that's a table, or here we have period column, any ref, okay? So you see different inputs, and it's important uh, that we have the right type assigned and that it gets well, evaluated correctly. Okay, now this code we can now call using the function name BBI SVG Sparkline.com. Come up with you know, a naming convention that makes sense to you, that makes it then also easy to call them from your functions. All right, now don't forget to click on update model with changes. Now the function pops up over there, perfect. Then we can go to the report view, create a new measure, and let's call this one SVG sales uh, sparkline columns, okay. Now this is equal to, and instead of that long SVG code, the only thing that we have to write over here is BBI, and then I refer to that function, and then we have all of these inputs. Now, what are these inputs over here? For example, we have sales, then SVG with. Okay, so that's the next one. Now, let me fill them out quickly. And here you see we have the height, the width, the thickness uh, of the bars. And then for the colors, when uh, so the main colors of the columns and, and negative, positive columns, over here, I can call that other user-defined function. So it can have a UDF inside of another UDF. Beautiful. All right. So everything is uh, nicely set up. Now, let's see uh, if this works. Now, to actually show the SVG as an image, you have to still select the measure, go to Measure Tools Data Category, and then choose Image URL. And another thing that's important is the scaling image size. So you see I put in the same height and width, as I defined inside of that function, huh? 20 by 100. Okay, now I can take that measure, drag it onto our visual. Over here, I still have to select just one year for it to correctly show. And boom, that's it. We have our nice little sparkline columns, however you want to refer to it, showing in our table visual.